What's up guys, I'm News 10's Edgar Alonzo. You inside the Red Room on News10.net. We're right here in Sacramento at Empire for the Atmosphere concert tonight. It's gonna be packed out. This is a sold out concert tonight. It's a Friday evening and News 10 is gonna bring you in the house. We're gonna talk to them. Stay here inside the Red Room. Oh, you're inside the Red Room at News10.net. Inside the, the red room, room right, right now. now. How you feeling, Cowtown? Alright guys, how you doing? We're backstage with the one and only Slug from Atmosphere. Uh, like I said, you know, it's a sold out show and we're very proud to have him on News10.net inside the Red Room. Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me, man. It means a lot to me. Tell us about the, your journey um, coming from Minneapolis and, and now you're just touring all across the country. Um, how did this whole thing start with you and Ant? I mean, me and Anthony started making music together back in 1994 and it's just been a series of baby steps ever since then, you know, going from woodshedding our stuff in the basement, trying to make it sound, you know, listenable and then uh, learning how to get the music out there. You know, we do everything independently. Um, we have our own label and, and we do it all out of Minneapolis. And so it's been like a long journey of, of baby steps, I guess you would say, of, of just us taking it to the next level and the next level, and, you know, and, and I don't know, having a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, definitely fun. And talk about rhyme sayers. Um, how, have you, how have you managed to stay independent all this time? I mean, you know, it's, it's hard for a lot of people to, to accomplish that. I mean, we've got a great team. You know, it's like Rhyme Sayers is basically a, a crew of, of me and some of my friends from Minneapolis who've known each other for years and years and years. And it's just a family, you know, and, and, and within that, you know, we all have a common respect for each other's opinion and voice. But at the same time, you know, we all we're all very strong minded, strong willed people. So just with that much energy together ciphering, there was no way for it to not build into something. I, I really enjoyed this album. I thought it was, it still had the same kind of feel of atmosphere, but it was a little bit different. Uh, I, I don't know, it had a different feel to me. Oh, she sings this particular record deals with a lot of parenthood issues, you know, and deals with a lot of, I guess, working class issues, just because that's what's in my face as a parent. And, you know, as an independent artist who actually has to work his way through a lot of obstacles, I am from the working class. I'm basically working class artist, you know, and so we dealt with a lot of that kind of stuff on this record. And the record is called? When life gives you lemons, you paint that ish gold. That's right, and it is in album or in stores now, so you can definitely get it. It's an awesome album. I definitely recommend it. You touched on your lyrics for a second. Um, let's talk about that for a minute because I think your your lyrics are awesome, and and I think they're not really a diary, right? It's different, but it's real at the same time. You know, I grew up on an era of rap from 88, 89. That's when certain artists made the biggest impact on me as a youth. And so it taught me to write rap in first person, basically. And so a lot of the stuff that we do does sound as if it's autobiographical, or some people will say that it sounds like a diary, you know. But 
we just tell stories, you know, it's just that we, we would tell them in a first person sense. With this record in particular, we tried to break out of that. The set sound, help me out a little bit right here. Check it out. Say God loves ugly. Say God loves ugly. Hey, God loves ugly. What you mean? God loves ugly. I love independent music. I love what you're doing. Any any chance that we'll ever see you with uh, some kind of a Northern California collaboration? I mean, I'm friends with a lot of people out of the Bay, you know, so it's not really that big a deal for me to like hop on tracks with certain people. You know, but I'm friends with the High Road dudes, you know what I mean? I'm friends with the, the Anacon dudes, you know, and so it's kind of like, it, I don't know that I could say, oh, there's something on the line that's coming, you know. I know I'd like to work with Zy and I, you know, I, I mean, most of the dudes that I'm friends with. Slug. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us. We're going to be real happy to check out the concert and, and see you, what man. you got going on tonight. Thank you so much. You're inside the Red Room on News10.net and News10, baby. Thank you, Sacramento. Yo, what's up? This is Slug from Atmosphere, and right now you're inside the red room at news10.net. Go put some clothes on. <laughs>